everybody is anyone that's here is subject to being recorded the session is being recorded and I think that's all I need to say uh, present are all three members of the Commission I had a question before we open but that's okay what what was the uh, I missed the July meeting there wasn't one there wasn't one. Oh. So Is you're that, okay. I think that we all missed it. Yeah. Seven <laughs> seventeen meeting canceled. Yeah. Seven sixteen, sorry. Yes, there wasn't a July meeting. Eight. Sorry. I'm slow. And we decided that we could 20. do it. When we did talk to it, we decided we could do without it, so we did without it. Um, <clears throat> do you have minutes for June? I do. June 18th. 3.05, we open the meeting. Barry, Bob, and Brenna present. Um, we discussed the fact that we were postponing the South Cemetery workday, and we discussed the town clerk's request for meeting schedule for fiscal year 25. Yeah. Um, we selected the following dates, July 16th, August 20th, September 17th, October 15th, November 16th, December 17th, January 21st, February 18th, March 18th, April 15th, May 20th, and June 17th. Then we reviewed May bills. Um, we and reviewed and signed May's bills. Then we um, discussed the Hills family um, uh, lot and we also talked about how many burials versus cremations per graves how many how many full burials versus cremations per grave or four cremations per grave with no with no full burial and then um, we also discussed spending at at the end of year and I made a note of dollars at Lowe's and I'm not sure whether that meant that we had a credit sitting there or I don't think so. something to do with spending money at Lowe's maybe it was because it was convenient oh we were talking about it and it may have had to do with whether our account was still active or uh, anyway that's all right. Right. I'm just going to note that. I did. I, I think that's what it was. I, I will say that I did make contact and activate the account at Robinson's. Okay. Good. I've got you and me on it as signatories. But okay, I, good. I haven't bought anything, but I. That's all right. I did, I did make sure, bring that back to active when I was okay. in there. Good. <coughs> Okay, and then we discussed D2 solution for cleaning the stones and the fact that it was made in Westport and what the website was. We looked it up. We got the guy's phone number. We called the guy um, and motion was, being, was made to purchase five gallons and pick them up in Westport, which uh, passed unanimously. Motion voted and passed unanimously. And then... Robert recused himself for our discussion of the superintendent, superintendent employment for fiscal year 25. Mm -hmm. uh, it was moved to employ Robert for the same dollars, um, which was seconded and voted two zero. to zero. <clears throat> um, his contract will, we discussed that his contract will be reviewed by the town administrator and we will draft that after the meeting. Um, and then the discussion of Robinson's account, which needs, needs, says needs two names and Barry to go and 
take care of that himself. And then Barry and Brenna scheduled tentatively, tentatively a field trip to Westport, Westport before June 30th. And then we discussed purchases that needed to be made by June 30th. Um, if, if, if something came up, the receipts needed to be submitted by 628 for payment in June. And then uh, discussion to keep open regarding schedule, special article number 20. Um, some expensed at North, balance carried $11,848.52 to the encumbrances sheet. Well, we had the two, we have two open articles in this that those have been kept open. They're for driveways, one's for South and one's for either cemetery, either of those cemeteries, and that has been done. Okay. Motion to adjourn, seconded and voted, three to nothing at 4.08 p.m. Any questions about the minutes? No. If not, uh, all is in favor. Uh, <coughs> I will, if there's no questions or complaints, then I will declare them accepted as read. Um, uh, I will report that I did go to Robinson's and we did go to Westport, and I have encumbered <coughs> the two hundred eight dollars for the D two solution. At pending getting a slip from them that says it was paid, so I can get reimbursed. Um, so I've encumbered the two hundred eight dollars before releasing the end of the year. Um, <coughs> I think that's all. Did we do the organization? We probably did that the month, but yes, we would have done that the month before after the election. So that's all done. Okay. Done in May. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, bills and accounts. Okay. This is my bill. I haven't. I had a rough weekend, so I didn't get like just going to do that tonight. I had one burial, and then I also have this. The reimbursement form, and that's the eighty bucks, ninety, ninety bucks. 90, okay, 90 yeah, 90 I see it. All right. So this is uh, fifty-four. So we've got the pay, and then we've got the uh, these things here, and this is stamps, hornet spray, and those are some of those plastic, big plastic totes that snap the lid shut, and oh, that's okay. for up the North Cemetery. I put the greens in it, so the oh, mice, okay. so the mice can't get out. The mice won't get them. Yeah, because they don't seem to bother it <coughs> at South, but up there they seem to be trying to. Chew, they've chewed some stuff, so I just went and snapped those and they stack on top of each other, and that way the mice can't get into them. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> and uh, in favor of. Uh, hold, hold, hold on, one, just want to ask one quick question yes. before I get this written down. Okay. Um, you encumbered the budget with the bill that isn't signed last year okay so encumbered 20 24's budget for the yes. amount yeah 2024 20, <coughs> budget for 208 pending and that's for the d2 solution yep Pending the <coughs> signature on D2 <coughs> perch. Okay, bills. <laughs> bills review. And we have uh, superintendent's pay and 
some purchases at July. Some stamps and some uh, purchases at Lowe's. Supplies. And the amount of $69.90, oh no, $90.54. Superintendent's pay, should I write that figure down? $519. Thank you. You have to sign that. Yep. Tax-free weekend. Oh, yeah. oh, very good. You talked about that. I, I, I was up at the North Cemetery and, I, and I'm looking at something and I go, Oh, I could get I those get now those and then I wouldn't have to fight with them over it. No tax. I don't have to worry about eating that. So I says I'll go on no tax weekend. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Go. Worth the shot. Okay. I got to still there make coffee. Right. Okay. <clears throat> that was in the mailbox. One of the things that was in the mailbox. This is last year's. Or this year's. Bad day, seven oh, this is <laughs> this is the first month. And we didn't I don't know. What is it? A lot of money. It's just it just the beginning of the year. Oh, that's all. We haven't spent any money out of it yet. Did okay. we pay you last month? No, we I got paid. Uh, oh, we had to do it before the end of the year. So this is the July pay. This is July, and, and we did the June one at the end, end of June. Year, end of June, the previous month. So okay. Yep. So as of July thirty one, we haven't spent anything. In this year's budget, no. these are the first bills under first this bills year. in August. Hmm. I should take that and put it in the computer and get a spreadsheet going. So I finally have a <laughs> listing of that again. Um, well, I had computer troubles. I used to do that every year, but I then know. I, I had computer troubles and I just well, stopped. So I can I I've, can do that. I've got this is these are first expense. Oh, that's all right. July. Yeah. Of the, of, of the new fiscal year. 2025. Uh. <clears throat> so, I have a, a small item, which is the D2 solution discussion of... John uh, hey, I'm in a meeting. Let me call you back. I'll be, I'll be back. Oh, perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye. Awesome. You have I have um, several dis had several discussions with people uh, that might be interested in helping to clean stones. I talked with um, Janet Lamy and Susan Seed, and I talked to one of my former house cleaning gals whose partner is a mason and suggested to him that he might like they might like to come and learn about the D2 and play, you know, stone cleanup with us on stone cleanup day. And I'm not sure about the two ladies. Maybe they, I don't know. I just, I threw it out yeah. there. I said, we're looking for people. I did not get it posted on Facebook yet. I kind of, oh, there was somebody else that, um, that I talk to regard, like if I have conversations with people on fa on Berlin Mess page, and I've mentioned it to them in passing in the middle of a conversation about something else, mm -hmm. but I haven't made a post for us because mm -hmm. I wanted to have a nice picture, and I don't have Okay. That. <laughs> I um, was sort of thinking I was gonna get those bushes planted at North, and then I would take a picture, and then I would make the posting, and I haven't. I bushes at North. I'm putting three spirea with purple flowers on the back side of the sign. 
of the sign stone out the front. The st sign stone. And you weren't, you weren't actually at the meeting when we talked about it. I said I was going to do that, and I have cut the... I saw that. I, yeah. I cut it, and I mulched it, and I watered it, but then I haven't had transportation up there. How big are these bushes? Um, two two gallon pots, maybe two okay, and a half. Okay, how how tall do they get, or how big do they get? They, um, well, you saw the one that's twenty five, thirty years old. Oh. It's maybe three and a half feet tall. Okay. Um, how wide? Um, a little wider than the stone. The middle one will be the size, and the t other two will go out beyond the stone. You're going to have enough room at what you've cut out already, or should you cut out more? I'm, so that the, I will end up cutting out more. Okay, just so that the... The weeds just don't go in. Well, that, it, the mower, for the mower to get around. Right. And also, yeah. you don't want to crowd the stone. Oh, yeah. Okay, because yeah. I, yeah. I saw it up there, and I says, okay, and I thought that maybe... Just when you say that maybe that you should cut a little further off. Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely, yeah. I was... Um, do the, the, when do these bloom? Or the, you said, what color? The purple they're, flowers? They're beautiful, sort of a fuchsia, purpley pink, and they bloom, I'm going to say, early July. Okay. Um, do the bees like them? Yeah. The bees like that's all that matters. A real pretty color, and the the foliage turns a wonderful um, golden to orange to red, depending okay. on you know where on the plant. The, the, and they're sort of feathery foliage. It's very pretty. It's, okay. It, it'll be it'll be an asset. Okay. Yeah, and they're very dense too. So they it, it's things will grow up through them, but. It's easy to see that there's some renegade thing growing up, pulling out. Oh, okay. Well, do they sit right on the ground, or are they up a little ways? Um, they cascade down, so that the idea of a you know a planting circle around them is very good because you you know you don't want them dangling out so there and the mower hitting them. So they're almost like a mini it's weeping a ball. cherry. It's uh, no, it's more it's it's a ball of foliage. Okay. I can send you. Oh, I can put the picture. Right. Part of the thing is that it's around that stone out front where we don't have any burials and we don't yeah, have any. Yeah, but I just I didn't want it to get in there and have it because some people put they have a stone and they don't. Oh, yeah. and I know you know better is to figure for growth and they just put invades. something like this and yeah. then there's not enough room going this way too because yeah. I know once you get in you'd hate to chop go in and push it out and then start cutting the roots and stuff. Yeah. I well, that should be okay. Now, I was going to, I'm, I'm toying with having a, okay. There's a couple of them there in the picture, but the, yeah, I can see that, yeah, that I can, is, I can make out the, that is one. So, okay. So the stone height is, is right about here. Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah. And then on the other side, we've got, um, we've got a nice plant, plenty of geraniums and we've got the, um, Pastas that I put in uh, a couple of years ago. Before. Before. Yeah. Yeah. On the front side, which are which are lush. And yeah, I just looking good. Yeah, you don't want to take from the spot from the geraniums. That's all. I could. Yeah. I was wondering about that whether I should move the hostas out a bit I now that they've. I think so. Now that they've come in. I think so. Okay. Just because you don't want to crowd out the geraniums. Yeah, you want to leave that spot. Yeah. Well, the geraniums are supposed to be for the veterans, so. How many go into that? I don't know. That's something that... Uh, That's handled Ra by others. Roger? Others. Roger. Okay. He might know how many you want for each each spot. We didn't go yeah. up and count what's there. Yeah. That's just as valid. Yeah, actually. Just go up and count what's there and you'll have a handle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So I do still need, do still do need to put a posting on Facebook pretty soon, um, and I might just go ahead and take a picture of some stones that need cleaning and down at South and just do it that way instead because it's taken me. Well, I'm doing. Um, I got them in the ground last I've week. Got they a plenty watered. Plan to do a program on some of the stones in the burying ground. 
in September for the Historical Society and to have the cleanup, the cleaning day after that so that it becomes something that piggybacks onto it to get people to come and help us clean stones. Yeah, before and after. Yeah, a little of that. And um, Do you know the date? I haven't established that yet, but it might be the fourth Saturday in September. Wait a minute, I gotta check on some other things in my life, but yeah, it might be then. And um, so we'll have a program on that, and then we'll have a stone cleaning thing as a program, as a as an event afterwards, a workshop event afterwards, uh, on another day. Uh, nice fall Saturday or something. Yeah, nice warm Saturday. And um, <coughs> uh, we need to get well to get some more materials to use. So I'll go to. I got stuff at Rob. Some few things at Robinsons. I got to get <coughs> some more, and and uh, I'll charge them up here. Um, so we have enough stuff to for some people to use. Yeah. You got to have scrub brushes. Yeah, they got to be real stiff, bristle things. Yeah. To do any good. Um, Definitely got to have gloves too. And you want? Protection. Yeah, it's it's recommended to use gloves. Now I've done it without and survived well, fine. But some people. Different like, people have different different ideas effects on that. And yeah. They do recommend that you use gloves. Um, Tractor Supply had those nitrile gloves for like seven or eight bucks um, a couple months ago. Yeah, I don't know so that, I paid for the ones I've got. I'll have to look at that. But it's, uh, you know, a whole box yeah. of them. You get like, I don't oh, know, yeah. Oh, yeah. People can break things like that. Too. Box of gloves, um, stiff brussels. Gloves and brushes and, stiff and spray bottles. Brushes. Uh, spray bottles, plastic putty knife. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's the, that's we'll keep working on that. Yep. Uh, what else do we have for problems? Well, <coughs> I got um, on the mowers. The old one is the gearbox is leaking because some of them were stripped out, so I told them to price one, and I gave them a price on, you know, it's too much money, or, yeah. and I don't You gave them a limit, don't go yeah, over that. Yeah, and if not, they'll, you know, they're gonna call me, I'll make another decision, too. Yeah. But um, one of the gear, one of the hydrostatic drives on the older diesel mower quit the other day. Oh. So they priced that up, that's gonna be replaced. And that's on the 2013. So that's that's normal wear. We had to do that on the woods a couple times oh, yeah. too. So that's just normal. That's normal stuff. That's I mean that mower's 11 years old. We've been using it and using it and using it. Yeah, we've used it solid. Yes, for 11 years. Yeah. And <coughs> that's when we both of those both of the main ones are ones we bought new. New. The other one was what used. That was used when we bought it, and we used it for years. Well, it's a tw it's a two thousand. It's coming yeah. up on twenty five so years old. Is this the yeah. one that has the leaking gearbox? That's the one yeah. with the lead, the two thousand. Yeah. The other one is the thirteen. Is the right. gearbox disintegrated? It's got to be uh -huh. totally replaced. You can't. Mm -hmm. It's just as easy. Wait a minute, I mixed up. The gearbox disintegrated on the twenty thirteen one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's smoking. The kid shut it off, and the. Baron, inside where the pulley holds on the shaft, it, the Baron is gone in there. So it's you got to replace the whole. It's just as easy to put a whole new. The thing whole out. hydrostatic. The whole drive. hydrostatic yeah. drive in. So this is the two. But they'll do that. They'll, we just, they, gotcha. But we have to. We have to pay for the. We pots. pay for the pot. Right. And right. I'm gonna go up and talk to them about. I'll probably get a new pulley too or something. It doesn't come with to get a brand new one because that's probably enough wear on it and I don't want to wear out the, mm -hmm. the keyway on the new shaft. It's, mm -hmm. It would be... Plus new pulley. Well, with a question mark. Hmm. 
and <clears throat> on that old mower, it's probably time to replace it, the old gas mower, the 2000. But I'm not going to, I don't think we need to buy as fancy as we have been buying. Well, we'll think about it. I mean, we bought two, so we'd have one a primary one. and a backup, and, and yeah. Now, with the way things are with the town doing it, they use two at a time anyway. At least two. At least two at a time. A lot of times they'll. I was three shocked when we had the burial Friday, yesterday, and we had, what, four or five of them show up? Fill the hole. Well, it was raining. So yeah. It was three. Yeah, actually three. Yeah. But it was raining, so they had. So they weren't as much occupied with doing other, other things. Yeah. Outdoor work, yeah. But I'm gonna. I gotta. They. I get this in the mail all the time. Every year they send yeah. me a new cat. So I'm just gonna work up a figure. Just. To show yeah. you, it's not gonna be a, as fancy. Yeah. Well, we can look at it, and yeah. we, and we got to find dealers again because. Well, think, they've been going out to the guy in Harvard. For the parks. Yes, and he handles the park you know, out oh, there. Okay. And there's a <coughs> few other dealers around that, if you know, for price. I can. Well, this is the good time to buy a mower. So if you wait a month or two, you might get the better mower well, at the better price. You get a. Because you'd have to wait till next July, anyways, for it. Because you're going to. Fiscal year, you got to go to town you gotta meeting. You've got to put an article in town meeting to, to get the get mower. The money. But so you can just get a ballpark figure of what you what you want and what it's going to cost. Yeah. And then you just put in for that. Plus, you got to have a little more of a cushion because a lot of times you'll see the quote, and the quote's only good for 30 days. <sighs> Darn. Um, Too bad we thought didn't think about this a couple of months ago. Well. Well, no. no. Everything was fine. You can't. You can't. This the process starts in November and December. In order to get it for next summer, okay. next July. All right, my yeah. fault. Yeah. yeah, it's not my ass. But it's something that's got to be thought about. Is good. it? Gotcha. Is it? You're thinking about it in a timely manner. Let me ask the question here and now: uh, Are we still as sold that the Walker is the only thing to have? I think so, but you can view one of the comments of Fred said is he really likes the design of the walker mowers because everything is contained, self-contained. Mm -hmm. You don't have stuff hanging off or hanging yep. out. And we always liked it because you, with it out in front, you can see where you can you're see going. see what it's doing. What it's doing. Yeah. He was, he's very happy with, likes the design of the walker mowers. And again, for the cemetery. Yes. As opposed to doing a big broad big field. Big field. Big field is, I mean, they can bring one of their big field mowers up and do the front field if they need to. That's what they do sometimes. Like sometimes. One of the kids will go up, out, and he'll go up and mow the front field. Which they got a th much wider thing than they Yeah. Got. It's what the one they use to go around with that fits on the trailer. It's not yeah. super huge, but yeah. Because the one, one of their other ride-ons is too big for the trailer, but there's another one that is. Yeah. fits on the, and that's the one they use. And yeah. I've got them to where I can, they don't blow the, one of the kids was, had to tell him don't blow the grass in the driveway because you, and he, I just explained to him and he understood and then he doesn't, so that's yeah. all fine, it's all good. <clears throat> um, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, the idea of actually maintaining three. Well, we already are now. Uh, that's what I mean, which we did not plan to. We planned to downsize ourselves to two at one point. But we, the other one was working and we said for a small amount we could keep it going at that point. And as you say, we don't want to spend a lot of money on it because it's too old. Well, it's 25 years old. And it's still fairly good, so it's actually still worth something. It's still worth a doing something. Or a sell if we keep it going, it's all right. But at some point, something major goes, then it becomes, it's only really worth its rate, weight and scrap. But whereas we previously were having one person mow everything, now we 
very frequently they're going to send two or three people into mow at the same time. Well, this year he had three some help, and they were doing all the mowing, the yeah. weed whacking. So he had three. A lot of times it was three of them mowing at a, at a time. Yeah, and uh, that's kind of an efficient thing because they've got OSHA issues about multiple having somebody work on lawn with machinery in a place. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So that is one of the things that enters into it. So it means we really need two working all the time. Uh, yes. And therefore, you kind of got to have a third one in order to make Just sure you case. got two working. Just in case. Just in case. And like yeah. you see with the 2013, it's blown, a, you know, it could that part could be in in a week and it could be in three months. Yeah. I mean, that's the other. Sometimes it takes the time to get it. Times certain parts do. I um, think. Anyway, you're going to look at the idea of, a, yep. of, of another mower. Yeah. And it maybe won't be as elaborate as. No, I already. The, they are very happy, I think, with. The gas mower? Yes, and getting a, a gas motor and the same simple design, nothing, no high lift, no, nothing fancy. No dump, just you get off and manually dump it. They're very happy with that because that's actually what they did. This mower they bought this last time, the last one they bought is one of those stands ups, and it was yeah. I don't know, ten or twelve thousand dollars. And it's a gas job, and they're one of the instead of about twenty. Yeah, absolutely. With the high, it was what we paid for the last one was twenty twenty thousand. Is this twelve thousand dollar one a, I'm a just, locker? Yes, I'm just, but I'm, I don't know the exact number. I'm just throwing no, no, that no, number that's out right. there. I'm yeah. not going to write it down, but I, I just, it, so it all, it, it's all meeting these, yeah, qualities. It's, it's the walker. It's a gas mower. It's smaller. It's. <coughs> well, we haven't decided to buy anything yet, but we're looking at it. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. We'll give it just some work some numbers up. That's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, sounds good. Then what we'll need to do is put our request for quotes and like October, so we have a number to use and right. for, for a warrant. For a warrant article. Yeah, that one can't last an awful lot longer. No, and like, you know, I, I figure it's worth a, you know, running, it's in. It's remarkable that it's still going now. Oh, it's worth at least $1,000, and some people says I see them sometimes for $2,000. You know, so it's still, and even if you just traded it in, it's still got some value as a trade. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it's all there. <clears throat> I had somebody call me up, and they wanted to know if this was the right place to get answer questions and this and that. And I said, yeah, and I, I said, okay, <laughs> I could answer questions. And, well, I'm calling for somebody who's a friend and they've got, they've got a lot, but they, they, they'll call you, uh, wouldn't give me the name of the person calling, wouldn't give me the name they were calling for, wouldn't tell me what family it was for. I thought, fine, I can't be prepared for their call then. Well, you sure can. If they won't tell you a little bit so you can... Do a little Look it up and be ready to answer their questions when they call you. Do a little research because they might call you too. Like sometimes I get called and I go, uh, I haven't got my books with me right now. You know, this goes back to the conversation we had in the car. <laughs> Do we have anything else we need to deal with offhand? No. In that case, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.